Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded series. We're jumping in once again and we're on a five streak Boo Shakalaka. Boo Shakalaka. We get Eden again. We're getting Eden a lot recently, but honestly, I will never say no to a good Eden run. Eden runs are really fun and Eden streaks, I really like doing them, so Eden, Eden runs themselves are always good. We, I have to say, this isn't the most interesting Eden start of all time, but I will say Unicorn Stump always has the potential it's always rife for some interesting stuff like it's not that good on its own but there's a few items I, I say there's more than a few items out there that's a really good item to start off uh that could that could make us a lot lot better also little loki here is actually kind of popping off like i didn't realize little loki did so much damage um it's killing flies in a single hit which i know isn't so much but it's a lot more than i actually thought it did um, this guy could be a problem. No, we're okay. This is, um, quite a large floor considering we found the item room in the boss so soon. It's not a XL floor either. Oh no, I messed up the timer again. I need to figure out how to stop doing that with the, the timer on minimap, uh, the minimap API. Because I keep accidentally buggering the timer and it's really annoying. Um, if you don't know what I mean by that, I just mean that the, ti the timer keeps showing up when it's not meant to be showing up. It keeps, like, accidentally staying around too long. Yeah, little Loki's doing a very nice job. Do you know, I actually, um, I actually watched back through the... Oh, come on now. Just go away, timer. I just keep spamming tab until it goes away. I just wish there was an option to turn it off separately. Uh, we might get hit in this room, but I'll try and use Unicorn Stump if that ends up being the case. Just because these enemies are a bit of a nightmare. Okay, no, we, 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 we managed to get through it. We managed to get through it. Okay. Cool, cool. Right, do we have a cash room here? We might want to go into a cash. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to just use this to get out of the way of there. Yeah, so we can't do any contact damage right now. Getting Mum's heal would also be pretty good. That's uh, some nice contact damage that we could potentially get. But yeah, I actually recently re-watched through the, uh, the Marvel Loki series. That, that right there is some top television. Like... I'm not a huge, like, I like Marvel, but I wouldn't say, like, I'm, like, a huge Marvel fan. Um, I don't watch a ton, like, I don't, like, go to see every single one as they come out day release sort of thing. I mean, I went to see Spider-Man pretty early on, but that was, uh, that's because that was a huge film. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, Loki was something that I watched, and oh my god, I thought, like, I don't know what people thought of it, I don't know how many people here have watched it, or even fans of the Marvel sort of stuff. But it's probably one of the best TV series that I've seen in a long while. I thought it was really, really, really good. Um, completely um, separate from the Marvel stuff. Like, even if you don't like Marvel. I mean, you might be a, a little bit lost on a few things. But I still think it was a very, very good show. Even if you don't like Marvel. Also, we got an Orbital, which um, is essentially exactly what we needed uh, to make Unicorn Stump valuable. Um, so that's very, very nice. We're going to be able to do some good stuff with Unicorn Stump now and get some good damage out there. So that was actually probably one of the most positive outcomes we could have got from a boss. Um, and this has become pr a pretty good start, i got to say. A pretty good start. But yeah, now we can uh, get in there and do this whole shebang. Oh, really? Oh, it ended at the worst possible time there. That was my fault for not realizing when it was going to end. But to be honest, it's because it didn't play the Unicorn Stump music like it normally does. I don't know. What, I don't really know what happened there, but it didn't play the right music. Uh, we can get some happy poops here. Then we can just get in there. Yeah, the music's a bit balked. I'm not quite sure why. And then these guys, you can you can just die the normal way. Oh, oh, petrified poop. Nice, 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 nice. On Dross, that's a pretty big get. Good, good. 30% chance for poops to give more stuff. Oh, I'm getting dragged around by all this water, I'll be honest. Right, let's see if we can destroy some of these poops here. But yeah, this is a nice little start. But I don't know, did, it, did any of you watch it? Um, if so, what do you think of it? Like, I thought it was pretty damn good. And yeah, I, I watched it again recently. And the reason I actually watched it again is because um, my girlfriend isn't a huge um, Marvel fan. Like, she, she's, she really is not a, a big fan of a lot of the Marvel films, which is fine. People can... Uh, not like them or like them, I don't really care. Um, but we went to see... My game is lagging like crazy right now. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm getting like crazy bursts of just the game freezing up on me. This is also a really good item to get, by the way. 
Um, we can probably build towards some good transformations here. Um, but yeah, we went to see the Spider-Man film just because we were going as like a group of friends and she wanted to just come along because we were all going. Um, and um, she was like, what the fuck was all that? <laughs> so we ended up watching Doctor Strange and then Loki as kind of a way to explain some of the stuff that happened in that film. Um, obviously, I don't want to spoil anything, but everyone knows Doctor Strange is in that film, so that's not a spoiler. And the Mirrorverse and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, um, so I, w I sort of... Wanted to watch those, and Loki, I just kind of, it's not super relevant, I just kind of wanted to watch it because I wanted to watch it again, and she was like, cool, yeah, let's, let's try it out, and she ended up quite liking it, so that was a huge positive. Right. Oh my god, I just bopped that guy a mile away. I didn't realise that would happen. Yeah, th I don't know what is going on with the, with the music when we pop our um, unicorn stump, but it is balked. It is truly balked. Look at that. Like, the sound just turns off. <laughs> it's so strange. I don't know why it does that. I really don't. I shall accept it for what it is, I guess. Okay. Get in here. Oh, by the way, I got a mod that makes it so that um, trinkets have visuals on your character. So you can see we've got a little pet tribe poop on our head now. I'm going to take this. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. The more enemies that are in a room, the more damage we have. Rather nice. So this time I didn't even change the music at all. I didn't even bother. I just don't get it. <laughs> Ooh, Trinket Smelter, though. I do really like Trinket Smelter, but i got to say, I'm actually really into this uh, contact damage little build we've got going on here. I always kind of like to... Um, to try and stick with the starting active that you get as Eden. I think it's a little, little kind of interesting way to play. And especially when we've been given such a such a such an avenue to success with um, the fact that we got a first floor uh, orbital. Like, obviously, we're going to need some more orbitals to really make this super viable late, late game. But for now, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, also, we do actually have really good tier damage as well. So, it's not like uh, as soon as our orbital... Abilities go away that we're completely shagged. We're actually pretty okay even after the fact. Experimental treatment I'm going to take just because. Um, that was pretty good apart from a fire it. Uh, and this... Hmm... I'm going all the way. I'm going hard. I'm going hard. It's a bit risky, but oh my god, we're looking great. But respawning as Dark Judas here, kind of an interesting thing. Uh, we, get, we get that massive damage boost to kind of to offset that fire rate down. And then we've still got our invincibility, so we shouldn't take too much damage here. But this is a, I like, I haven't had a Dark Judas run in a long while where I've actually taken it and played it. Because, I mean, I, I don't think, I, I literally don't think I've seen it since I last did my, um, did my way to Dead God. And during Dead God, you kind of don't want to use it. Um, we get credit card here. Spawns an item from the, ooh, this, the auction gavel is real good. Real, real good. Um, I think we're going to take it, you know. I, I love the unicorn stump stuff we got going on right now, but honestly, the auction gavel is really, really good. And in the spirit of that, I'm going to uh, blow up a Madonation machine to get some money. I think last time we realised we need about like about like 25 cent to be in a good good spot. So we should hopefully get that this floor. But yeah, I, I'm, I love the Unicorn Stump stuff, but now we've got so much actual damage, we don't need it. Um, and the Auction Gavel is real good. And it's, it's just a pretty fun item in general, really. Um, Waspel, I don't think so. Odd Mushroom, hey yes, that's great. Little bit of a uh, damage down, but a huge tears up. Huge tears up. Basically doubled our tier rate, so very happy about that. I think that's a very, very good get for us. Golden key there as well, after I used a key, but still. I'm appreciative nonetheless. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> Completely forgot about that. Right, secret room wise, where are we thinking? Because it can't be can't be up there. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know where it is now. 
Okay. Okay, you need to go. Don't know why you jumped over there, but you can do you. Right. Okay, thought that would be it. I'm pretty sure it's just to the right of us here. Which will also give us access into our boss trap room as well, which is always nice. Although, we could actually get some money out of this. I think boss trap room's a little more valuable, I'll be honest. Whipping cream, yep, I'll take that. Yeah, I think whipping cream's really good, because, like, one thing with the whipping cream, you don't really know how much extra damage you're getting out of it, because it, like, the stats don't show. It, like, it just, it's like, kind of like Lump of Coal, where it, you get extra damage, but it's not reflected in the stats, because it just, it's just based on shot speed. But at 1.5 shot speed, we should be getting a decent amount here. So let's pop this. Unfortunately, not something I'm willing to, to grab. But you, you see the idea of this, uh, this item here. We're going to be wanting to save up our cashola. And um, you pop it in secret rooms to get extra rewards. More fire rate, hell yes. And then we've already taken a devil deal, so we might as well enter here. Yeah, I was going to say, in the hopes that it's that. Oh, although we did get an item we don't want. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to pop down to the next floor. Um, we're going to the beast here, so... I haven't actually been to the beast in a while, so I will try to go to the beast here. Um... I kind of find it funny that when we respawn on each floor, we do respawn with that Eden hair and then it disappears. Nope, we do not need a key. I love items like this mallet where you kind of have to play to it. You kind of, you build your run around it and you play to it. I, I think that, I think those lead to some pretty fun and interesting runs. And also, it's a, it's kind of like a magic skin sort of thing where it's like, you can get some secret room items out of it, but it does come with a pretty steep cost. And that's the fact that you need quite a lot of money to make it work. It's not... It's not something you can easily um, easily make work on every run because you're going to need quite a lot of money to keep it going. I mean, luckily, Petrified Poop does give us the opportunity to get quite a lot of money, which is really nice. Also, Ouija board. I forgot, I forgot we picked up Ouija board. Right. Um, secret room's likely to be here. I want to wait for this to end first. It's not there. Okay. Um... Good, good. Need to find secret room relatively quickly here. Relatively fast. Right, one minute. Uh, let me let me have a little look around here, because I think it's back over this way somewhere. And we've got enough money to use the mallet. I kind of want to get as much out of this as I can. Ah, oh, it couldn't have been there. That was me being... No, that was just me being stupid, wasn't it? See, I'm kind of tempted to say that it's here. I've... I'm going to say, I didn't think it would be, but I had to try it just because the rocks looked too tantalizing. Looked too good of a too good of a spot. Good, good. This is kind of a hard floor to find the secret room, I'll admit. Calm down, you poopy boys. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god damn it. Um, Laos isn't really something... Oh. I'm loving this setup we got going on right now. Oh, we get Angry Tears as well. Hell yes. I love Angry Tears. An item that I hadn't seen for a while, but seems to have uh, all of a sudden started showing up. I like it. I mean, I could just pop it in like an item room to get like an item, but it's just like, why? I might as well save it for like devil deals and stuff like that. A little more reliable to get decent items in those pools. The one thing I will say is I'm pretty sure if we spawn Arky, it will always be 99 cents. So it's not a really great way to get Arky. There's a bomb. We'll try this out. This could be secret room. Yeah, there you go. Eternal chest. Greed's gullet. I'll take it. Uh, I'll pop this a few times. Oh, I'll pop it once. We got all in. Nice. I like all in. We'll check the shop as well. I'm going to say I'm likely to get anything that's going to beat what we've currently got. I'm just going to pop that because we don't need it. Right, let's go fight our boss. Yeah, I love angry shots. They just make for so much more of a wacky run when you've got more shots bouncing and pinging off everything. And like with this damage setup as well, we're just looking so good. So, so good. Oh, that's pretty good, too. That's pretty good, too. Oh, we got the fun guy transformation. That was unexpected. Um, how so? 
Oh, uh, no. Wait, what? Well, where's our third mushroom? Oh, no, no. We've got the mask. We only need two mush. We only need two items to get a transformation. Also, goddamn. We are looking crazy. That's awesome. Okay. Only needing two uh, items towards transformations actually helped us out this run pretty in a pretty great way. Ooh, that's pretty tempting. That's pretty tempting. Hopefully we can get some more bombs this floor. I really want to be able to utilize our mallet as much as we possibly can. If you would like to move, sir. Oh, wait, we've got, we've got Spectral. We don't need to worry about you. Got him. We need like a Cricket's body in the mix here. That would be really good. No, thank you. Beautiful. This is Depth XL, okay. There's still you left. You lucky bagger. You lucky bagger. Right. Now we've got three keys. Let's go do that uh, boss trap room. Although we could save it for the charges, actually. So maybe not. I just need a bomb. I'm pretty sure I know where secret room is. So I just need a bomb now. That was close. Ooh, I can't play you right now. Sadly, not the greatest room for that, that to set off, but there you go. Possum ear converts one heart container to a burn heart. Unfortunately, not really what we want right now. Not really going to be that helpful for us. Hello, sir. That's a mighty lot of rainbow poops you've got there. Not that we need any of them, but... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, bloody hell. Okay, secret room could actually be in a few places. Because it could be... Oh, no, it can't be there, of course, because that door's there. Ow. Okay, that, that was that was a good room. Oh, you double-tricked me. You you dastardly bastard, Ipecac. I was like, oh, that was a good room, Ipecac. You tricked me there. And then immediately you got me again. You bastard. I love this little brimstone item. It's so good. Okay, we got some bombs, finally. Hmm, actually, maybe I don't know where the secret room is. I thought I did, but it's not its not very obvious right now, actually. Another bomb. Let's just try here. I doubt it's there, but yeah. I'm a bit confused. I'm not quite sure where it is. This is a hard floor. Excel floors are always just generally a lot harder to find the uh, the secret rooms on anyways. Just because, obviously, you've got more rooms and less secret rooms. So it's a little bit harder, but I'm still surprised. God damn, that, this Brimstone item is absolutely kicking ass right now. Could be there. I'm, let me just check that. Yeah, very easily could be here. Really? Really, it's still not there. Where the hell is it then? Where the hell is it? It's Sig Monstro. He's here to get us. Sorry, we should be able to absolutely destroy him. Definitely one of the harder rooms on this floor. Like, if you have a weak build on this floor, this can be a pretty, uh, pretty big mess for you. I don't understand where the secret room is. I am very lost, very, very lost. The Eraser. We do have a battery charge there. I probably do want to buy this as well, because we're a little low on HP here. Could be here? Honestly. Where the hell is it? <laughs> we don't even have any secret rooms left after this floor, so the mallet becomes kind of useless. Big sad. Is what I'll say. I'll say big sad. I just... I'm so dumbfounded by where the hell it is. Just XL floors are impossible. <laughs> There's so many areas that look like it could be a secret room that aren't. Right. I kind of guess we should just, like, pop the 
fuck any pop the mallet anywhere at this point because yeah I, i'm never gonna find i mean i don't have any bombs left anyways but i'm never gonna find the secret room at this rate I am going to give myself the blue map at the end of this floor to find out where the fuck the secret rooms actually were. Because I'm very confused as to where they are. Had to give me a troll bomb, didn't you? Thank you. Come on. Let's go. Okay, good. I'm loving having Spectral. I've never, I never really appreciate Spectral for what it is, but goddamn, in, in rooms like that, so good. So it could be at the end of this hallway here. Kind of forgot we had another item room, I'll be honest. Oh ha ha, that was cheeky. I mean, I got, I got this out of it, so that's a bomb. Hmm, yeah, great. God damn it. Um, ooh, actually, do, to be honest, we need the bomb for the teleport card, don't we? That was good that we had that. <laughs> Full card. Right, let's just pop it in here and see what we get. Yeah, I'll take that. I will take that. Um, there is a bomb in here as well, so I'm going to grab that. Same here as well. Okay. Right, let's assess. Let's clear the floor and then let's assess. I mean, to be honest, at this point, we need to buy a charge anyways and we don't have much money left, so maybe it's not a great idea. Do you know what? I'm, I'm absolutely shitting the bed today. I'm getting hit loads. My health is not looking so hot. Alright, let's go do the bosses. Oh, Reap Creep on this floor? Really? That's annoying. I always forget we've got the mausoleum to go through as well. Come on, the reapiest of creepiests. All these spiders better be my friends. God damn it. That lime scale thing should have given me these spiders as my friends. Stop doing that. You bastard. You dropped him on my head. Wait, are we at... How is 4.5 our fire rate cap? What? Why? I don't understand why that's a fire rate cap. Okay, we are absolutely destroying her though at the minute, which is nice. It's good to know that when we left our um, unicorn stunt behind, we didn't end up getting any extra orbitals that would have made it uber powerful. If I'd have got a bunch of extra orbitals, I'd have felt quite bad about leaving it behind, but considering we didn't, I'm not, not feeling so bad now. Right, let me just grab that. We'll do that. Um, nah. Pop in here. Ezao Jr. Mm, I don't know. <sighs> Ezao Jr. could be good. Okay, I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try it out. Let's get out of here. Oh, we got that glitch again with the rock spiders. So this guy has all sorts of shenanigans going on. He has marked. He has school bag, horror Babylon. Um, I don't know who's better. This guy's got more damage. Right, let's go. Having marked is a bit funky. Oh, and this this guy gets a, a golden penny on the start of every floor. That's nice. Ooh, hell yes. That's a good trinket. I don't know. This guy's kind of popping. This guy's kind of popping. Also, worst flies you could possibly spawn. A craggle isn't really popping off that much, which is a bit sad. But yeah, we got like two dark versions of characters now. It's kind of funny. Okay. Just hope for the best here. I'm going to stick as this character for now. 
for us, that fella. A Pandora's box. I don't even know what this will do, but I'm going to pop it. Damn it, it's just a bunch of money. Oh, I, I found the secret room with that as well. How did you get stuck behind there, dude? How? Okay. Would have been ha nice to have the mallet on this floor, considering the amount of crazy damage we have right now. Hmm. King baby? I guess. I guess King baby. Oh, we don't have Spectral on this character. Don't assume we have Spectral and we don't. God damn, this is some tense stuff. I feel like this guy has the potential to do more damage, but it's just so much harder to actually use him. King Baby's also mighty useless. That's no good, good. Let's keep her going. We never left a trinket um, to get our cracked key, but I think that's fine. Are we going to get a golden penny at the start of every one of these floors? I mean, we don't even need the money, but I feel like I have to. I'm going to pop back to this guy for uh, for doing rooms. That was close. That was close. Yeah, for doing rooms, I'm going to pop back to this guy. And then for the boss itself, I'm going to go to the other dude. I just think with spectral tears and like the ability to actually aim where we want to shoot, we've got a little bit of a better chance. Sci-fly? It seems like it could be pretty good. <laughs> I think we'll take Sci-fly. Okay, now we might want to just want to stick as this guy. What on earth? Gotta use the teleporters in this room. That's a pretty cool room, to be fair. I like that. I don't know how many of um, these rooms have been added to with mods. I, I know that you can add rooms to the Ascent. I just don't know how many people have actually gone ahead and done that. It's just a different version of the Monstro room with a bigger enemy. I do think that there may be as additions, because I don't remember these guys showing up on the Ascent too often. Maybe it's just that I haven't seen this room before, but... I know the Ascent doesn't have too many rooms in terms of variety, so... Why'd I have to shoot the wrong one? Can you just... Yeah, there you go. Another key. Not that I'm taking all this stuff that I very clearly just do not need, but... Hey, her. I mean, I'll know for, for, for sure if they've been added to if I see any modded enemies. Crack that open just in case we get a nice card. We get a Soul of Bethany, that's good. We'll pop a scratch card, why not? There you go. I don't really care about you, Grimace, because you got to remember, I've got Sci-Fly. Oh, there's a Tinted Rock there. I've wasted my bomb on the, those rocks. Oh, why didn't Spectral let you shoot through these guys? It's stern, isn't it? Give me a bomb. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, to be honest. Easy. Oh, what a waste. Why you gotta be like this, boss? Why you gotta why you gotta fool me around? Absolutely straight up fooling. By the way, I just gotta say. Generally. Just generally. You guys have been killing it in the views recently. Like, you guys are supporting this series like crazy. It's kind of awesome. Like, for the past, like, week, I've been getting, like, 1k views on, on my Isaac episodes, which is kind of nuts. Like, I don't normally get anywhere near that many. It's normally, like, close to, like, 400. So, it's been pretty fucking awesome to see that. So, thank you all very much, sir, for the big, the, the big supports. It's good to be able to, like, do something that I love and, like, people like it. <laughs> it's a strange feeling, but it's nice. Considering I don't, I don't do this for my full-time job or anything. This is just something I do as a hobby. It's really nice. That's a soul heart that I very much want. Boom, bow. That was a pretty, pretty good little schnickety schnoo there, wasn't it? Goddamn, I can't believe how light we've been on bombs this entire run. We've just been devastatingly low on bombs the entire way through. Okay, so this guy's not too bad with Sci-Fly. It's just that that we need to be worry worryful of. Oh, 
be worried about, should I say, not worry full of. That's not really a, a sentence that makes sense. Hate Horn. Why you gotta be such a, a fearful boy? Bugaboo, die. I definitely feel like there is some new rooms here. Oh my god, this guy's getting bopped around like crazy. Calm it, dude. Holy hell. I guess it's a lot of hell. Hey, look, it's a bomb. And there's some rooms like this where it's just like the easiest room of your entire life. My god, what just happened? More bombs! Hey all. This guy's gonna split. Careful. There you go. In terms of damage, we're absolutely killing it though. We're doing a great job. This, I mean, Dark Judas was definitely the right choice. Like, imagine this run without Dark Judas. Like, it would have been okay, but we'd have been severely, like, in the rough, I think. We'd have, ha we'd have had some hard times. Only one can be picked up. Spawns a fucking mega troll bomb, you bastard. You bastard. Oh my god, all these guys belching all over me. Scares the jeebus out of me. I think we're pretty we're pretty ready with this with this character, this build. For um for the the, the boy himself. Mr. Big Beast. Be very careful here. <laughs> this is a very hard room with these enemies. This is I mean these are custom enemies, so this is definitely uh definitely custom roomage going on right now. I, I was gonna say, please don't tell me I just hit it directly into a, another off-limits area. Really? That hit me? Okay. I mean at least I picked up that before that happened. Right, keep her going. Back to the basement. We need you. Your son needs you. I don't care. I'm off, biatch. There you go. We can also sleep in the bed. One thing that's great about characters that can only have soul heart health is the fact that you can just like get in that bed and <laughs> get three free soul hearts. Really, the, the beast fight has to be one of the easiest boss fights in Isaac just because of how many benefits they give you. They give you the bed, they give you the chests. Wait, what the hell? Excuse me? This isn't normal. <laughs> they give you like the bed, they give you a holy mantle. When you go into the beast fight itself, it heals you. That gave me 2020. Why? <laughs> My god. That was so dumb. Why? Yeah, it just gives you so many benefits. It's, it, it's pretty good. And then it gives you the opportunity to get an extra life as well if you've uh, brought the crack key. Oh my god, we got that too. Hell yes. My, we got 2020. Where the hell did that come from? Everyone's like, ooh, 2020 bad now. No. No. Ju just no. 2020 bad now. No, 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 no. We're in a pretty good position here because Sci-Fly is going to keep us nice and safe. We don't have any bombs really to do much damage here. Ooh, it's this attack. There you go. Good, good. I haven't fought the beast in a really long time here. Still, by far, the coolest boss fight. I do wish that the other fights kind of had this... Oh, I, I kind of forgot how this uh, attack worked for a second there. I kind of wish some of the other boss fights had sort of this lead-up and this sort of f finesse and story and, like... You know what I mean? It kind of... This 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 has got all of just the coolest things for a boss fight, whereas a lot of the other boss fights, even Mother doesn't really have this sort of thing. I wish some of the other boss fights had a bit more fanfare. Ooh, that was close. That was kind of close. One more spinny spinny, I bet. That's what I'm thinking. 
Oh no, no, no more spinny spinnies. You got lucky. Easy bangers, boy. You're dead. Just remember as well, if we get low on health, we can switch to the other Ezao Jr. Beautiful. But I reckon that this build should be more than enough. And also, the boss health bars mod adding health bars to these guys. One of the best things ever. Our damage isn't amazing, I will say. Even with 2020, like, it's better than it was prior to 2020, but, like, it's not the best. Also, we'll be getting damage up for all these flies, which is nice. And now I can just sit here and uh, let our fly boy, our side fly, grab everything. Oh, I say everything. It did miss a few. I forget that it has been nerfed. Side fly isn't as good as it used to be. It used to be literal immunity. It's not quite anymore. But yeah, all these flies are going to give us extra damage from the mum's earrings, so it's kind of nice to have those about. If Sci-Fly can do that for every one of those um, poison bombs, that'd be pretty good. Not quite for that one. He's about to chop in half. There you go. Once he's in half, it becomes pretty easy. Apart from that maggot attack, I will say the maggot attack is an absolute bitch. Okay, we got him. Good, good. Yeah, we're, we're chunking through these guys. It's going pretty well. Yeah, the beast fight itself is just pretty heckin' awesome. I, I love War. War's probably my favorite one of the of the horsemen to fight. He's just, he, his fight's so interesting. Like, it's not that hard, but it's just cool. Careful when he comes back in. There you go. Hey, we got him to chunk. I, I look at that little sprite for the uh, for the health bar there. So good. Right. I wish normal war adopted some of these sort of attack patterns. Don't have to be exactly the same, but something similar. It'd be pretty cool. In comes death. There should be like. A mode where, like, if, if you're in normal mode, it, it plays out like this. But if you're in hard mode, you've got to fight, like, all of them at once. Or, like, multiple of them at a time. I don't know how, exactly how they'd make that work, but that'd be pretty cool. Okay, being able to see how far we are of killing this guy is really useful. I love this attack as well. It's hard, but it's so cool. Ah, uh, we got him into the, into the, the assassin mode now. With the red eye. But we killed him, it's fine. And in comes the beast. Oh, we're gonna waste some of this, aren't we? God damn it. And then look at his health bar. Oh, it's so cool. The beast is also just an awesome, awesome fight. Like, I, I, I will say that this whole Angry Birds little part of it is a bit meh. I kind of wish they'd done something more interesting with this. But the rest of the fight, I think, is really good. Like, this flame ring thing's pretty cool. And then some of his other uniquer attacks are really good, and like the brimstone stuff. It's, it's, it's good. I really think they should have left the flappy bears bit for just the very end of the fight. Do you know the, the last phase bit where uh, you're chasing it? Uh, like, he's chasing you, and like, you're lowering his health, his last little bit. If they'd have left the, um, the flappy bears bit for just that bit, I think it would have been a, bit, a little bit better. But the fact that you have to go through this bit three times... Is a little much, in my opinion. There you go. This bit here. I do like it, though. It's, it, it, it makes you feel very powerful. That's, that's one thing I will say about it. It makes you feel very strong. And the music is so good, too. But it, it just means you're not really doing much or dodging much during this. Because you just, like, hold fire, move up and down. But anyways, that's the beast just about done. Nice little victory there. Fun little, fun little run. I liked it.
either way, hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.